Are you filming this? Yep. Yep, he Why are you me. filming this? Because he's fi filming B roll. It's called B roll. Why do we, we're just walking? the Crawdad Hunter and this is my friend Turner and today we will be exploring Vale Campground. Oh, look at that, perfect for snakes. Hang on. Approach slow. Should I try and scare it out by... by? No? No, you can just slowly open the top. Yes. Be careful. Pull out. Look, look, look. Darn it. Wait, 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 is there a hole down there? There's a hole down there! Yeah, probably some snakes down there. Snakes definitely live in there. Oh, look at this. Let me come back. We gotta check that out. Why is this thing shut down? Oh, it's shut down. Oh, it's not open. This, Daddy, this is when perimeter patrol comes in handy. So, in that old abandoned water slide area, we didn't find any snakes. So we're gonna head up this trail and see what we can find. That place was just hopeless. We also saw some raccoon tracks and raccoon poop. So we're gonna head up here. Told you there was a staircase up here. It's way quicker. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper pig. Salt and pepper pig. There he goes. Keep an eye on him. I see him. Chase him down. It looks like a lizard. Come on, Rod. Right think he went down a hole. Man. So we just found a little beetle. A dang bug. Look at it. It's, it's hissing. What is that? What's doing it? What is that thing? Not sure what species of beetle this is, but it actually looks really cool. So I found it here in the grass right here over there. So here he is. He does have big mandibles. Here. I don't think they're big enough to clean. Oof. They do. They hurt? Yeah. What's been your favorite thing so far? Um, riding on the boat. Yeah? Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> Very good at it. I was. Uh, every time I would write with my hand up, and me and Chloe went together. What's been your favorite part about camping so far? Um, going in the pool. Going in the pool? Yeah. So, oh, we need the black pepper too. Let me find the pepper. Are you Lou? Cooking a spaghetti. Are you? You're cooking spaghetti. Maybe go there. There you go. Up it in there. Nice. You want to stir it with the big spoon? Yeah. This is our last day at camp, so we're gonna um, see what we can find before we go home. A blacksmith make me 
a spoon. But like, do you want to go eat or do you want to wait until he finishes? I've also made some rope. And I've also wrote a mechanical bowl. It's boots and shabs, it's cowboy hats, it's furs and let it go. It's a rose and the rain and the joy and pain and they call the thing a roadie home. Oh. And yeah, that's what we've been doing this weekend. Oh, squirrels. Coming around the side of that tree. So I think we're, I see a little irrigation box right here. Looks like it might be good. Nothing in there. Frogs. It looks like a whole family. Oh, there's a frog in the lid. There we go. First frog. This is a Baja California tree frog. They are nocturnal, but you can find them also on day, at day on like grass and all that. And the, the way to identify a Baja California tree frog is they have these very distinct black pattern, like almost blackish, reddish green, right by the eye. They do have big um, chins when they're mating. Let me see if he's a girl or a boy. He's a male. How can you tell? The chin is usually usually darker than the females. Those are California tree frogs. So, that was fun for today. I think, I think how they get out is kind of just through this tunnel, probably. We had a fun time in Temecula, California, catching Baja California tree frogs. I'm Riley the Crawdad Hunter, now go outside and explore the wilderness. <laughs>